Here we have uh, a seemingly complicated problem, but uh, let me take you through this. Um, first of all, we have a uh, lead sulfide that's a solid. Now it reacts with H plus. That's going to come from a certain amount of hydrochloric acid. And these two react to form lead ion, which is aqueous, lead two ion, and hydrogen sulfide, which is a gas, which could be dissolved in uh, water or, or um, in solution. And so we want to uh, set up an ice table here. Um, I'm going to rewrite this equation down below. And uh, really, there should be an equilibrium here. Lead 2 plus. And H2S. And the K for this is known to be 5.1 times 10 to the minus 2. So we'll write down the side here. Ice. OK. And uh, you might be tempted to convert this grams here to moles using the molar mass of lead sulfide. But we don't need to do that because it's a solid. So I'm just going to put a dash through each of those entries. Now, in this reaction, we don't have any H plus initial. We don't have any lead 2 ion initial. And we don't have any hydrogen sulfide initial. All we know is that we add some amount of um, H plus to this reaction to cause this reaction to uh, shift to the right and produce H2S. So it's going to be uh, 0.008 molar okay, hydrogen sulfide. Now I kind of lied. The initially, we have no hydrochloric acid, but we're trying to find out what this value is. Okay, We're trying to find out what the initial amount is. So let's. Uh, not work from left to right, but let's work from right to left. This H2S here must go up by x to produce 0 0.008. So that's our x. Okay, This is going to go up by x to give you x, but we know what x is. It's 0 0.008. Okay, And we don't know what this concentration is right here the H plus at equilibrium is unknown. So what we want to do here is uh, calculate that. The equilibrium constant for this chemical reaction is uh, products over reactants. So we've got the lead 2 ion times the concentration of hydrogen sulfide divided by H plus Okay, and um, we want to go ahead and substitute in. Well, let's just solve for H plus. H plus is going to be equal to lead ion concentration times hydrogen sulfide, and that's at equilibrium. E stands for equilibrium. Okay, E is equilibrium divided by K E. Q. And let's go ahead and uh, punch those in and see what we get here. So the H plus at equilibrium is going to be equal to the lead ion concentration times the H2S divided by 5.1 times 10 to the minus 2. Let's punch this into our calculator. Okay, and I get a value of, that's at equilibrium, one point two five times ten to the minus three. Okay, so that's uh, in units of molarity, and that's what this value is. Okay, now let's just switch to a red pen here just to emphasize this fact. Now, we have the uh, plus x here, right? The plus x here. So it means this has to go down by x, all right? 
So we set up a new equation, and what we do is uh, remember again that the initial amount minus that x must be equal to the equilibrium amount. Okay? And we're trying to find, doubly underlined here, the h plus initial. So let's add x to both sides. Okay? And calculate what we have. So we know what the h plus concentration is at equilibrium. That's 1.25 times 10 to the minus 3. And we want to add um, 0 0.008, which is what x is. And what do we get from that? We get 9.25 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. Okay. Now, the problem asks how much HCl in milliliters. We know we need that molarity. So what we want to do is convert from molarity and volume into um, moles. So let's go ahead and, uh, and milliliters, and let's go ahead and do this. So this is 9.25 times 10 to minus 3 moles per liter. Okay, and this reaction is in a flask that has a 0 .50, 0 0.250 liter flask size, right? So the concentration there, I'm sorry, not the concentration, the number of moles here is uh, 2.3 times 10 to the minus 3 um, uh, moles, okay? Now, what we want to do at this point is go ahead and um, find out. So we have 2.3 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of H plus. Okay. And what we want to do is uh, use the molarity. It's 8.2 molar. That's 8.2 moles per liter or one liter per 8.2 moles. And we can go ahead then and calculate out what that is. Okay, I get 0.0189 something liters. We multiply by 1,000 to get milliliters. And that's 19.0 or so, okay. So um, step one is figuring out what x is from the ice table. Step two in red is to figure out the molarity of the H plus in this reaction. And step three is to calculate how many milliliters we have in green. So that's how you. Uh,